Hi, my name is Rado, and Twitch just introduced animated emotes. So today, we're gonna take you through uh, how to animate a simple wave emote. Stick with me. So if you don't know who I am, I am a graphic designer slash illustrator for Twitch emotes and overlays and all you all the good stuff. So um, I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So come check me out. But if you want to get into the video, let's just get into the video. So today we'll be using a few things. We're going to be using Clip Studio Paint, After Effects, and Photoshop. Photoshop is very minimal, but the biggest thing is going to be using After Effects to animate your own emote. So let's jump in to Clip Studio and I'll show you what you have to do for the precursor of animating. Right here we have our simple uh, little emote, uh, just a wave, just a hello, just this welcome people into chat. And uh, we have to easily be able to take this apart and make it. So I made it very simple. So if you want a more in-depth guide, I can do that. But we're going to keep it simple today just so you guys learn the basics. Um, over here, you see all of our layers. So what we want to do is we want to grab the layers, group them together, duplicate the layer, right click on the top layer and merge selected layers so now we have all our layers all flattened into one the best part best way to do this is separating every little thing that we need that wants to move is just to cut them right out and then kind of redraw what they uh, what they're gonna be doing so I'm gonna do that we're gonna cut out the hand so it waves the eyes and the mouth so let me show you like I'll show you how to do the hand the arm so we're gonna take our lasso tool and we're gonna go right right along this black line and cut it out control X control V now you see it's on its own layer and we're gonna hide the other layer and we're gonna kind of edit this so it looks nice. Erase it there. And we are going to, I'm gonna erase this little black line right here in this one. And what we wanna do is we wanna kind of draw in a little bit extra so when it waves, you don't see the armpit come up so you want it all centered right here so you can wave like hi so we're gonna draw this in see if this is a good line a little bit small it doesn't have to be exact So we got we got the 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 length in. We're gonna recolor this in. We're gonna take the shadow and just expand the shadow. We're gonna create another layer under it so we don't mess with the black. Just like this. Just like that. We're going to merge the two layers. And now we put it under just like that. When it waves, you don't see that. You don't see it clipping. But you'll notice right over here by the head, it's kind of botched out. So we're going to have to refill that in. 
So let's refill that in real quick. We're going to refill everything over here. Erase this little piece. I don't like this piece. Erase that little piece. And now we just have a body. That's good and all. That's good and all. But now we need the eyes and the mouth. So we're. I'm just going to quickly go through the eyes and the mouth. Um, and redraw everything in and then we'll show you how to save everything out and bring it in the after effects. So I'll be right back All right, we are back. So the things that we got cut out are the body, the arm, the mouth, and both of the eyes. So when we go into After Effects, we're gonna bring them all in separately and put them together. So it looks like the emote, but we're gonna be able to move each element of the emote. So uh, I like, I, I, I don't, you don't need to name your, layers which i didn't but like when you want to export these you're gonna name them so this is left eye we're gonna file export as png and we're gonna do left eye wave uh 100 Then we're gonna do it for the other ones. Uh, Twitch hasn't come out with the restrictions yet. Um, I, all I know is I think you get five animated emotes and I think that's for partners right now. Um, I think affiliates are coming later, so don't worry affiliates. I know you want everything that partner does, but it's 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 one of those special things that they have to roll out slowly. So we're gonna make, we're, gonna, we're just gonna do it on an 1800 by 1800 uh, canvas right now. So now that we have all that, it's time to get into the animation. And this is where things kind of get confusing. So I'm going to try my best to show you everything that we need to do. Um, I'll probably end up moving my cam over to the other side and we will get right into it. All right. So when you open after effects, assuming you have after effects, if not, I think you can do this in DaVinci, but I'm not too sure how, because I haven't used DaVinci resolve. So if you, if there's a way to translate it for you easily, I would suggest that. But right now we're just going to use Adobe After Effects. Um, right when you open, you have new composition or new composition from footage. We're going to choose from footage. Find our YouTube wave. And we're going to select all of our elements and press import. Um, when it comes to the, the composition settings, I always have it for five seconds. It, again, we don't know how long they can be for Twitch. So we're going to set it for five seconds. And as you see, we're going to fit this and everything is just all over, but over here, you see all our layers. So arm we're going to take these and we're going to have to drag them and drop them onto the right uh, layers to where they want to be. So the arm goes behind, body's down, left eye, right eye are on top and mouth. So now we have all these different layers and they're all separated. So uh, what do we want to start with first? I think 
we're just going to start with the arm because that's what people want to see, right? They want to see the waving. So we're going to start with the arm. And uh, I think what we have to do is we have to move this anchor point. As you see, the anchor point right now is in the middle. So like when it waves, it's not going anywhere. Like it's just going in a circle. So this anchor point has to move down to the bottom corner of your arm. So we're going to press A for anchor point. And we're going to move these to where the arm meets. So we're going to hide these. Just like that. And you can click and drag and bring it right back to where it was. So now, if you press R for rotate, it's rotating on that axis. But as you see, we can make it wave just like that. And if it's a, it's a, it's a hard wave, right? The arm, like when you wave, you don't wave like a, like, like your statue, right? You have to, your arm kind of moves back and forth. So we are going to animate that hand going back and forth Two. but first we want to add for the rotation. We want to go slow. So Click this little stop sign and it's going to add a keyframe right at the beginning. This keyframe says this is where we're starting. We're going to go to about two and a half seconds out. Two and a half seconds is about 2.12. And we're going to click another keyframe saying this is where it wants to go. Okay. So we're going to click the keyframe and then we're going to move this over just about 11 so when you see it maybe we'll speed that up I think we'll speed that up we're gonna go about half that and then another half and we're gonna bring it down so another keyframe and we're gonna bring it down a little bit Another half, we're gonna bring it back up. So we're gonna bring it back up to where it was before. So highlight your keyframe and you can copy these. So you can go control C, go back over here and then control V. And I think the arm might be too high. So we're gonna lower it a little bit. And we're gonna copy the first one, bring it all the way to the end. So it loops. So it's like, yay, there we go. And it's gonna go through and loop just perfectly. What I like to do is I like to en uh, enable the motion blur. I don't know how much blur is gonna be on this, but this is motion blur. You're gonna click this and then you're gonna click the motion blur icon. If you don't see it, if you don't see this little icon, click this toggle switches mode right down here and it'll bring it back up for you. See if it does anything. It's a little motion blur. And it looks good. So far, we have the arm moving. Uh, I think we wanna uh, lift up the eyes a little bit, like up and then down a little bit. So. To get these to go together and you don't have to animate them both, we're going to have this parent link right here. Right under it says parent link and we're going to drag it to the right eye. Boop. So now when you move these, it moves both of them. See that? So we're going to do position. Ooh, actually, you know what? I missed a thing. Um, let's go back down to your arm wave and select all of these keyframes. Right click on it, key assistant frame and easy ease. So what that means, it's not like it, it, it doesn't go like this. It goes like more of a, a fluid motion. So it's like, woo, woo, so it's not hard. I'll show you the difference. See how it like stops right there and it's like, boom. But if we redo it, 
It's not as hard. So keyframe assistance very cool. Um, we can get into that in a later date if you want to know more about it. Um, it's very important to make your things kind of look uh, more fluid, more realistic. Uh, just so you have the right, I don't know, kind of kind of composition. All right, let's go back to the right eye. We're gonna go to position. Click a keyframe. Let's go about to the same keyframe as the down lower and bring them down a little bit. And then we're gonna copy the first keyframe, bring it all the way at the end. Just simple as that. That's all that's all we need. We don't need a lot of motion, all right? We can get into bigger motions, but just for the sake of this video, I want to keep it as simple as possible for you guys, even though I know this is very, very confusing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to everybody's questions and stuff like that. So, um, and I'll try to answer them. If it needs another video, I'll make another video for you guys. And, uh, and we'll go from there. We're gonna select all those, right click keyframe assistant, and then easy ease it again. Woo! My computer's chugging. All right, so we got the eyes and the arm waving. We're not into the completely complex stuff yet. We're gonna get to the arm and the hand later. Um, Next, we want the mouth, and we want to hide everything so we can see where the mouth anchor point is. So click A, and then choose the anchor point. We're going to make it, should we make it over here? I think we should make it over here. Line it up, and then bring it back down. And that's where it's going to stay for a while. And then we're going to have, I think we're going to, what's the rotation on it look like? Uh, I think mm, the anchor point maybe need to go in the middle. Let's see the rotation. Yes. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of rotation. So we're going to press R, go to the beginning of our composition click the stopwatch go all the way over to the middle as you see on your arm click the stopwatch again and we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna rotate that just a little bit just a little bit so it kind of looks like she's grinning like he and we're gonna bring it back down. Copy the first frame, go all the way to the end of your composition and paste the first frame at the end of your composition. Then we're gonna select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So, so far we're looking good, we're looking pretty good. But now we kind of want the hand to like sway when you're waving, your hand doesn't go like, <laughs> kind of want the hand to sway. So whew, this is where it gets confusing even for me. So, so the next part of this is the puppet mesh. So we're going to have the arm kind of waving, right? So we kind of want this to like move back and forth. So we're going to take this tool up here. The puppet position tool, we're going to do it at the beginning of her finger, right here in the middle of her wrist, and then we're going to go down to where the anchor point is and click the anchor point so where the anchor point doesn't move. You're going to find 
your puppet mesh under effects, puppet, mesh one, deform, and then the puppet one I think is the one that we want. That's the one that we want. All right, so we have a keyframe there. And let's go to our first keyframe, a second keyframe for the rotation. Click that and we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna click and drag this down a little bit. Ooh, that looks good, that looks good. So see how, see how when you're, when you're waving, your arms kind of like, so we're gonna take it down, go to our next keyframe, keyframe that, and then we're gonna take, we're gonna drag this keyframe back up. We're gonna do it a little bit more. I think we even want it even more. You don't want to do it too much because then it starts warping. There we go. Eh. Sorry, I had a duplicate frame. We're going to take the second keyframe, go all the way to our third, fourth, our fourth rotation keyframe and paste it. And then we're going to take the first keyframe, paste it all at the end. The last thing that we have to do is select all of our keyframes. Oopsies. Select all of our keyframe, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And that's how we get the wave. The little wave emote. I might clean this up a little bit just uh, because I don't like that right there. So we're going to clean that up a little bit. We're going to go to the Puppet 2. I don't know if Puppet 2 is the one I want. No. Puppet 1. Puppet 3. So after cleaning it up a little bit... We have a full wave. And we're going to play it just for you guys to see. Just a hello. Next, we're going to export this and we're going to bring it into Photoshop. So the export settings have to be a specific settings. You're going to make sure that your background is off. So if you have your background on, click this checker box, turn the background off, file, export, and then render queue. The render queue will bring up this current uh, composition into your uh, queue. You're going to click on output mode and drop down from format and go to QuickTime. And then on channels, after you hit QuickTime, channels RGB alpha. RGB alpha allows you to have a blank background, just a transparent background with your, with your uh, file, with your video file. Press okay. We're gonna find somewhere to save it. Name it wave animation and it's going to be a move file dot mov and render so now that we have everything exported we're going to open up photoshop and we're going to import the move file so it has like a timeline so i'm going to open photoshop real quick and then i'll show you how to import so 
Photoshop, another beast of software that we have. The it's this part is super simple, super easy. File open. Find your uh wave your wave animation, which is this right here. It's a move file. And when you open it, you'll notice that there's a timeline right here. So we're we can see the whole five seconds. And we don't have to do anything in here. All we have to do is go file, export, save for web. Let it load, of course, because it's going to take forever because it's Photoshop. So we got our GIF in here. It's all ready to be exported. Um, we can change the image size down here. So like, if, if you guys do want to get into this animation and you find out, oh, Twitch only allows this size we can redo this we can save the animation as a move file and then resize it as a gif file um, i'm not too sure how that compresses well or not but um we'll have to find out when the details come out okay so first thing you want to do is going to go to preset gif 128 dithered drop down make it a gif selective diffusion R click on transparency and then no transparency dithered and all you have to do is save wave dash animation gif save and it's just gonna save just it like out. that we got a wave gif I hope I hope I did this right. This is the first time trying to do a tutorial because I had a lot of people hit me up on Twitter asking me about these, and I wanted to try to get a a, a video out as fast as I could. So I hope I helped. Um, but yeah, this is a gif a gif a wave gif. Uh, if you want a different type of gif, maybe a, a heart one, we can figure it out. Maybe something more in depth. If you need that, we can definitely do that. But for now, there's the wave gif. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I did well. This is my first tutorial. Um, it might be a little lengthy because I don't know how to, like, I know how to clip. But I don't know exactly how fast I should go on these tutorials because I want them to be very clear and very precise for you guys so you guys can go back and rewind it slow it down a little bit that's up to you if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and again i stream wednesday thursday friday sunday on twitch come see me and uh i also take commissions at rhinoarts.com so if you want if you want one of these when the specification comes out hit me up and we'll we'll, we'll work on something thank you so much guys and i'll see you later